Hey everybody, and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is JD Savage. I'm a six-figure affiliate marketer. What I do is I teach people to make money in affiliate marketing on my channel here, Imperfect Millionaires on YouTube. Uh, specifically, I take specific platforms. I vet those platforms, make sure I like those platforms, uh, prove I can make money with those platforms. And then what I do is I design a series of videos and or a course, and I put them on YouTube here for free. I don't try to sell you a course. I don't play guru. I'm just not into all that, but uh, I do show you exactly what you need to do to take a specific platform and monetize that platform on the internet and make money with it, okay? And everything I do is affiliate marketing. Occasionally, I deal with some things that, that are a little different, but I don't bring that to this channel, okay? So not even probably worth mentioning, shouldn't even have said that. <clears throat> but what I'm doing here today is, one of the things I show you guys how to do is start a YouTube channel. And most recently, this video is a little bit out of my lane. Uh, it's about YouTube because recently I had a student that got uh, their YouTube channel canceled. And so I wanted to bring it to everybody because I've never, had this happen up to this point and then we did some homeworks to find out why and all this person did was they went out and they saw what they thought a lot of other new youtubers were doing and i didn't tell them to do these things but i also didn't tell them not to do these things okay so do i feel entirely responsible no because i didn't say go do this but i didn't say not to do it i just it's not things that i do so they certainly didn't get it from me so i did some homework to find out why that was and what that was all about and uh, i found four things that they were doing that are explicitly against the rules for youtube however you're going to see a lot of new YouTubers do this. So if you're considering starting a channel um, or you have a channel and you've already started it, do not do these things, okay? So I'm going to go over them. I'll just start with it. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, give me a like on this video. I try to bring you guys value. That's why I'm bringing you this video today. Um, like I said, it's a little bit out of my lane, but not really because I share with you guys how to start a YouTube channel, what I think you should do, how, how to create content, all that kind of stuff. And that has to do with YouTube but I'm not typically a YouTube channel guy, so to speak, right? But because I share this information with you guys and I know it now, now I would feel super guilty if I didn't tell you not to do these things. Because like I said, people see a lot of new YouTubers doing this stuff and I've never really thought too much about it because I don't do these things, but don't do them, okay? So the first one, uh, tag stuffing. Okay, so what is tag stuffing? If you've never gone over, and by the way, you know, I've taken notes here today because like I said, I don't normally do that. Um, I definitely don't operate off a script, but I've taken notes because I wanted to make sure to cover everything. Um, there are a lot of resources for YouTube, right? Uh, YouTube Terms of Service, uh, Community Guidelines, and then there's a YouTube uh, Creator Academy. If you're not aware for new YouTubers to help you learn what to do, how to do it, how to speed up your success, how to speed up your monetization of your channel, all that kind of stuff, right? And it's free. So those are all resources available, but Back to tag stuffing. So what tag stuffing is, do not do it, is, I'll click over here. So in your video description, what people will do, and you see I have some tags here. This is just an example of one of my videos. I got a couple tags, but it's not just rammed full of tags in down in here, right? And down in here, what people will do is they'll just jam it full of tags. How serious do they take that? I don't really know, but we did some homework to find out what this person was doing. Um, and that's one of the things they were doing because they saw other people do it. When you look at um, what you're supposed to do, the guidelines, you're definitely not supposed to do that, okay? So that's number one. So I highly recommend you don't do that. You can get away with a few. Um, what it says is uh, placing excessive tags in the video description, right? Well, what's excessive? I, I'm assuming what I have here isn't excessive, but you know, now it kind of makes me think, oh, maybe those shouldn't be there at all. Because they, if you don't know, when you load a YouTube video, there is a place they have you put tags, um, and that's where you're supposed to put tags, okay? Um, so that being said, let me click back over here. Um, that's where you're supposed to put your tags. Evidently, right? You're not supposed to put them all down through the description. Um, number two is using another creator's channel name in your tags or your metadata. So the reason people would do that is they're hoping to drive traffic from that creator's channel to their channel and basically steal their traffic, right? I can see why that's a problem. That's not cool. I've never even considered it, to be honest, but not a cool idea. Um, they definitely frown on that. They're, they're not cool with that. There's one exception, evidently, and I wrote that down. Unless that video is about another creator or you're doing a collaborative uh, video, then that's okay. But you are not supposed to use other people's channel name to try to bring traffic to your channel. If it's a similar channel or maybe it's got nothing to do with it, I've never even considered that, but this person was uh, was doing that, right? Just a horrible idea. So it seems like there's a combination of things here that happened. Maybe if they'd done one thing, it wouldn't be a problem, but the channel is literally canceled, not just, you know, in Facebook jail, you know, like people joke about for a little while, but it's like, it's gone. So not a huge big deal really, because the channel wasn't very old and, and all those things. But that being said, uh, I want to help you guys avoid these things. So let's see, spamming other people's um, channels. Okay. I know a lot about this because it sucks and people do it all the time. They'll go into comments on my videos and they'll leave things that are just garbage, right? They either have nothing to do with the content and they're not really a comment 
um, all they're really doing is dropping links to some scam, right? Crypto stuff all the time. You know, I'm constantly deleting those from, from my comments, um, trying to get people to come over or they'll say something along the lines of they're somehow associated with me. They imply that they don't outright say it, but they imply that like, you know, we're friends and I recommend what they're talking about. So I've got to keep a pretty close eye on that. Some of them, sometimes they slide by and they'll be there for a week or a couple of days, you know, and I don't see them, but I try not to because I definitely don't want people clicking on things and going to things that are a scam. And then they think somehow I represented that or suggested they should do it, which had nothing to do with me. It's just some jerk putting things in my comments, right? So they don't recommend that. The other thing is uh, definitely leaving links, right? In other people's video comments is a no-no. And then um, the sub for sub thing. Right. What people will do is they'll leave a comment like, if you uh, follow my channel, I'll follow your channel kind of thing. Not cool. And to be honest, guys, I haven't done any of that. This channel, as you know, isn't that old um, and it's growing rapidly. I think it's four and a half months, five months old, something like that. And quite frankly, I haven't done any of these things. And that's like the slowest way. If you look at how to grow a YouTube channel, those things are just slow and not cool. Right. I mean, just produce content, produce value and your channel will grow. It's the best thing I can tell you. That's the most honest thing you can do. And it, and it works extremely well. That's how the algorithm set up. They reward you for that. Okay. So don't try to do the sub for sub thing. It just, frankly, I've had that happen a lot and it's just super annoying. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. It's better than people leaving links to scams. Right. But just avoid that. Okay. Now the other thing is copyrighted music, right? There's a lot of information out there about people saying, well, you can do this. You can get away with that. You get that. Look, if you don't have the rights to use it, and it's not been cleared, right? And and it's you're not supposed to just don't use the music because look, creating one of these channels, creating all this content, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy that goes into it, right? And to have it just taken away for no evident reason because you did some silly things that you thought were going to get you ahead that frankly don't do much of anything, right? That's just not wanting to put in the time, energy, and effort to do the things that actually create a quality channel and create subscribers that want to be there, right? You're just trying to go find somebody, hopefully, that might give you that subscriber so you see that tick, that number go up, right? And I get it, right? People do it all the time. They buy, you know, subscribers, they buy followers on all the different social media stuff. I, I just don't recommend it. You don't need to do that to grow it, okay? It's not necessary. Produce genuine content, share your opinion, be respectful, and your channel will grow, okay? So as I mentioned, there's several resources, uh, YouTube Terms of Service. I would become, you know, I don't even have to read all of it, but just become familiar with it, right? And a lot of it is common sense, guys. These, these four things that I outlined here, those are four things that this person was doing that literally just got their channel just wiped off. So I, I wanted to make this video. It's not the video that I planned on making today. I'm not sure how this popular this video will be or whatever, but my own conscience led me here to create this video and share this with you because I haven't had this happen to anybody yet, right? And we'll fix it and we'll create another channel. And we'll do all that. And really, they hadn't made it that far anyway um, because they were doing these things instead of the right things. So we're going to start over from ground zero and create something better and, um, I don't know, just more honest Okay, so that's it for me today. Like I said, if you like this kind of content, give me a like on this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell icon so you're notified of any new videos coming out. But because I share with people that I highly recommend they start a YouTube channel, I felt some sense of obligation to come here and share these things with you so this doesn't happen to anybody else, all right? And if you have no idea who I am and you just caught this video and you're gonna start a YouTube channel, don't do any of these four things. Just go to work and create an honest channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching and putting up with me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.